you guys, Mama Bear is not happy today, okay? What's up? What to do? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another Shred episode. Today I have for you guys a full day of eating. I also have a full body workout that I did with my mom about a week ago. Um, I wasn't able to put this up back then because Christian broke my other camera and just lots of other life stuff, but we're here. Um, I know you guys have been loving the new fitness series. Thank you so much for all of your encouragement and your love and your support has really kept me going. I'm seeing so much progress and I know this is something I'm going to fully continue out for the full 12 weeks and it's been very exciting for me and at the same time content I think you guys are loving so it's like a win-win I'm really happy to bring you guys this video um, but at the beginning I did want to touch on something that I talked about on snapchat this morning if you follow my social media you know that I've been saving up for a house for a really long time and I have been not letting myself really purchase any money on anything that I want whether it's even if it's budget friendly or if it's something that's high-end I'm like what do you want more a house or this I'm just trying to be so strict on myself right and I feel like too I also started my channel recommending super affordable things and I'll only really splurge on something if it's truly worth the money if it's a product I really love um, and I actually had the Beats by Dr. Dre about a year ago I had two pairs which I lost which was totally my own fault um, but they were like $350 a piece so I lost out on all that money and I was like you know what I'm not gonna buy them again a lot of you always ask what headphones I use there's some really affordable ones from Amazon from Senzo I think they're like 23 bucks I can link those down below if you want a really good high quality loud pair that's whew, that's really budget friendly but yeah, recently I was just like, you know what? I really want Beats. I've been wanting them again for a while. They're really expensive, but they're an investment. And I've been working so hard on so many things. You guys know I just launched a few of my Girlboss Academy courses and I just feel like all I do is work. I barely like go out on the weekends or do anything that's like fun. I'm like, I gotta treat myself. So I'm like, I've been in the gym every day for this cut. They'll get plenty of use. I'm like, okay, let me just purchase Beats again. So I purchased the huge Beats Studio over the ear ones. I ended up getting the olive color. I think that's a new like limited edition color. The other day I went to my apartment gym here with Christian. I had had the beats. You guys already know where this is going. I had had the beats for two days. I went to the gym with him. We left the gym and walked over to the bathroom, which is literally, what, 100 feet away from the gym. Went to the bathroom, we're washing our hands, you know, doing a little dance, snapping, Snapchatting Christian, just like being goofy, enjoying our Sunday or Saturday or whatever. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, where's my headphones? I walk back to the gym, which is still in my same apartment complex. My headphones are gone. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. No one was in there at the time. So I'm like, ugh. Oh. So before anyone comments this, I'm so 100 million percent aware I should not have left them in there. It was 1 million percent my fault. But I think I was just like finishing up with abs or something and I left them like on the ab bench. And I'm not even kidding, within five minutes of me going back and just being like, just remembering that I had lost them, they weren't there. So someone must have came in there, swooped them and left. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I go to my apartment complex, I ask if anyone has turned them in or brought them to the lost and found because that's what a normal, decent human being does, right? Anytime I would ever find something of someone else's, I wouldn't think of doing anything else with it besides turning it in. Especially something like Beats that are so pricey, like you've gotta know that someone saved up for those or that it was a big purchase for them. And like, why steal something? Like stuff like this just gets me so, angry and upset and like frustrated inside just because it's so so wrong and dishonest and like if you lost something I'm sure the person who stole them like if they lost something they would want someone to return theirs as well and that was something I really didn't want to splurge on but I did because I knew they were good quality and whatever I feel like I'm like explaining myself but anywho I go into my apartment complex they're like no no one's turned anything in but we'll check the cameras for you then they got back to me later today with this Proof of the girl who was in the gym right after I was and who took them and she was caught on video snapping pictures of them as if she was gonna go sell them, maybe on like Poshmark or Offer Up or something. So I asked them if they could find her apartment complex number or her condo complex number based off of the fob key, which is like what you scan to get into the gym. I have no problem confronting her. Like a bitch will go to her door and knock and be like, excuse me, you got my $400 headphones? Because I'm not messing around. I don't wanna pay that again. Obviously no warranty or insurance is gonna cover something I lost. And I'm very, very well aware, like I said, that I should have put them right back in my bag. For some reason, I, I don't know, I just wasn't even thinking of it or I, I completely didn't even know that I left them in there. You know, I'm focused on my son too. He was in there with me like doing some little ab movements. I put him on my Snapchat this weekend. But yeah, they ended up showing me the footage of the girl who took them and she just took them and walked right out with them after taking pictures of them. So I don't know, I was so, so frustrated this morning. I woke up in an incredible mood. I was like, it's Monday, new opportunities. I have so much work to do this week for YouTube videos and and Girl Boss Academy stuff and I'm so passionate about all of that that I just woke up in such a great headspace in order to connect with so many more amazing ladies and those of you who've already joined my Girl Boss Academy I have two more modules going up so I have I need to be in a good positive headspace and just be really excited to make that connection with you guys and help you guys grow your social media and like 
everything that my program is, which I know is like separate from this chit chat, but I just woke up in such a good headspace. And then when I went to the apartment complex this morning and they told me this and showed me like the footage and stuff, it just really brought me down because like I said, I would never do that. I know this is like the day and age and like everyone probably like steal stuff, but it's just so wrong. It's so dishonest. It just makes me think too, with having a kid, like if I ever, if Christian ever grew up and did something like that, how it like gets me choked up, like how disappointed in him I would be. You just don't do that. Like you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, this person is probably so upset that they lost this. Let me go turn that in for them. Like how hard would that be? This also ties back into like two, three weeks ago, I posted on my Snapchat. Someone came up to the front of my car and it was probably an accident, but they hit the front of my car really, really bad. There's a huge scratch on it now. And they just left, drove away, didn't leave a note, no nothing. Like I just, it frustrates me because how hard is it to be a decent human and say sorry or leave a note or leave your phone number or wait for me to come out of the store and then tell me face to face. Like, yeah, it's embarrassing and it might be awkward, but like you did that. Like, it's okay. We all make mistakes. I've hit other people's cars. I can admit that I've probably hit two or three other people's cars in my whole life. And I've always left a note or told that person or just been like, Hey, I am so sorry. Total accident. Like that's what you do. I just don't get why people just like dip out of these situations and are so rude and I'm not gonna buy another pair of Beats right now because I really am saving for a house and that was such, it's not like three or $400 is gonna make or break me getting a house, but it's just the principle of the thing. Like I've been really strict on myself on what I'm allowed to buy. And yeah, I just, I finally was like, you know what? All you've been doing is working lately. You deserve this, go get them. And I'm upset with myself because I shouldn't have left them there. But at the same time, within a five minute span for someone to come and swoop them is like, just very upsetting. <laughs> like it like gets me, what is it? Like sad, like upset with like mankind, you know, like that people could still be like that. But anywho, that really had nothing much to do else with this video. But since they're like a workout item, I wanted to like include this chat in this workout video. Yeah. But yeah, all I can do is decide how I react, what my attitude is. I know in my heart that I wouldn't do that to someone else. Uh, I hope she returns them, but I doubt she will. It looked like she was going to like go sell them or something. So you're welcome for the $400 headphones, girl. Now, back to the video. Hope you guys enjoy a full body workout I did with my mom. She is also on her fitness journey. She's been killing it lately. I'm so incredibly proud of her. <laughs> We just did like an hour of plyos, weights, hit training, all that stuff. Now we're gonna do a hit circuit on the stairs. 
I'm wearing a waist strap. A lot of you guys have been asking about this one. I'll link it below, it was super cheap. My mom is actually gonna do this with me. So we're gonna do 20 minutes hit training on the stairs if I don't <laughs> fall. All right, so I wanted to show you guys what I ate post-workout. These are some absolutely incredible protein waffles. Very, very easy to make. I was just using the Nature's Harvest light multigrain bread. It's 80 calories for every two slices, so it's really low on carbs. Some liquid egg whites, ground cinnamon, strawberries, and some protein powder. You can use any fruit that you would like. I also use the Walden Farms pancake syrup, which is no calories, no macros. In my opinion, still tastes great. So the key ingredient here, which I find gives the best taste and also the best health benefits and value is going to be the level one protein from first form. I'm going to be using one scoop of the ice cream sandwich, but in protein waffles, the cinnamon toast crunch and the peanut butter cup are also just absolutely incredible. Um, in one scoop of this, it's only 140 calories, 2.5 fat. It also includes five grams of branched chain amino acids. This protein has an ultra high bioavailability and an incredible taste. Um, this is actually made to be a baking protein. A lot of other companies just have their normal protein powder that you can take pre or post workout, but this one is specifically designed to be used in recipes. So it's gonna really make the waffles um, fluff up and just taste incredible and it cooks really, really well. Um, I'll have the protein listed down below in the description if you guys wanna get it with free shipping. The tub is huge, it will last you months, especially if you're someone who doesn't necessarily always use a big like overheaping scoop, but it made these taste so good. You'll see at the end how they look, like I'm obsessed. As you can see right there, I'm only just using half a scoop for this recipe. I did half a cup of egg whites and then just a dash of cinnamon. All depends on your personal preference, like how you like the final taste to be, but I just always like a little kick of cinnamon. I'm just gonna take two slices of the Nature's Harvest bread and coat them in the mixture, and then we're just gonna put them on the pan. The stovetop, I believe, was on medium, and they cook super, super fast, so keep your eye on these. I believe it only took like five minutes total, two and a half minutes on each side, and then you wanna just flip them over. I was doing two little plates here because Little Man also had a serving of these and he loved them. Um, drizzled some pancake syrup over top, and that was it. Like, this is like a five minute meal. Super, super easy. You could put the strawberries on top, frozen fruit, chocolate chips. Really, really healthy, macro friendly, and they taste so, so bomb.